Hi there, I'm Kat Havens, the Assistant Director of Youth Education at the Houston Museum of Natural Science, and today we're talking about the science of food. Even the simplest of recipes have science, and today we're mixing it up with the science that's on your salad. To help me today, I've got Executive Chef Sander from the 17 at the Alden. What are we going to make today, Chef? We're going to make a basically a basic vinaigrette. Excellent. Fresh herbs, and I'm also a little oil, vinegar, and a little bit of egg yolk all together. All right, sounds great. Start with a little bit of honey. Okay. Then we're going to add the key, one of the key ingredients, which is egg yolks, and pasteurize, of course, now. So they're safe. You don't have the problems with the salmonella. So what do the egg yolks do for the mixture? The egg yolks will help bind together the vinegar that we're going to add now. We're also going to cut the vinegar and the, with a little bit of water so it's not too acidic. Okay. And then mix it with the other ingredients and then the, where the egg yolks are going to come into play is when we slowly drizzle the oil into it while whipping it. Instead of having a separated oil and vinegar mixture, we're going to end up with an emulsified creamy dressing. Okay, do you know what it means to be an emulsion? Oil molecules are going to be suspended in the, the water molecules, okay. basically. It gives you the texture, a, a creamy texture, okay. and, and it looks as though they're completely combined. So this won't separate out after a no, this sitting will, for a while? No, this will hold for uh, a couple of days, as long as you're going to keep it to be able to use it anyway. Now we're going to go ahead and add our flavoring ingredients Excellent. before we slowly drizzle the olive oil and whip it. Add a little bit of lemon. That's a lemon just for flavor, or does that do something for the emuls uh, emulsion it's also, as well? Uh, it'll help with the eggs and help hold it together. Okay. There's lots of acids in this mixture. Yes, uh, and then there's quite a bit of oil, but you've got to get the balance ratio right. Which touch of garlic? Ooh, my favorite. Which will really give it a lot of good flavor. Dijon mustard, which really adds flavor, but it also adds quite a bit of body. I don't want in an emulsified dressing. Now, also, can't mustard be used as an emulsifier as well? Or? It can, but it does not hold as well. Okay, egg it, holds it, better. Yes, it does. The combination will hold very nicely. Excellent. This is just a mixture of fresh herbs. This was baby uh, cilantro sprouts and basil. It smells good. I can smell it from here. Uh, a little bit of black pepper. Awesome. Now, let's call that together. Actually, this is where I could use a hand if you could. Sure. And slowly drizzle the oil right to the Definitely. to the edge of the bowl, and I'll just whip it in slowly. Now you need that physical energy to make the emulsion as well, right? It, it, exactly. Okay. And you've got to go move quickly and keep the oil going in slowly. If you were to dump the oil in all at once, it would break and it would look uh, almost like you scrambled it. Oh, okay. Okay. And as you add the oil now, it's going to come up to a creamy texture very really slowly. And as you see, it's starting to tighten up. I can see that. You know, and it's getting thicker and thicker. I would, if we were to keep adding more oil, we'd end up with almost a mayonnaise. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah, which is eggs and oil and vinegar and mayonnaise. That's and mayonnaise. And but and we butter. don't want something quite that thick. We want something that'll flow easily on the grilled vegetables that we're going to be preparing. Yeah. That is a complete vinaigrette. Oh my gosh, it smells great. I love the grilled vegetable salad. So we have some of the grapes from Wood Duck Farms, uh, some asparagus, which is not local right now, some baby carrots, and also little grilled garlic cloves and ramps. So you have two different kinds of asparagus here, a white yes, and a white regular? And red. Now this is garlic, green garlic, whole garlic, very tasty, it's been grilled off so it mellows the flavor. Mm. And then finally, the ramps, which are wild leeks. It's nice, very small. And you don't want to drown your food, obviously. You don't want all the oil. And if you, if you make your vinaigrette appropriately, and you've got a great flavor, and you're not having to add uh, too many calories from there. Mm. Oh my god, amazing. I'd just like to say thank you to Chef Sander for hosting us here today and for whipping up this beautiful salad. If you want to learn more about emulsions or to make this vinaigrette yourself, visit us at www.hmns.org. If you want to try a beautiful salad like this, come visit Chef Sander at 17 at the Alden.